from the 13th to 16th March 2018, Globethics.net Foundation, together with Arigatu International, in collaboration with the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Square, organized and held a training of trainers workshop on integrating ethics into higher education for the teaching and administrative staff, as well as the students of Queer. The opening ceremony of the workshop was attended by participants from various institutions. This included vice chancellors of both public and private universities in Kenya and beyond, representatives from UNESCO, Arigato International, the Association of Member Episcopal Conferences of Eastern Africa, Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, Kenya School of Law, and university students, lecturers, and administrative staff of Queer. During the opening session, the various speakers emphasized the importance of integrating ethics in higher education, in which Queer has taken a lead. It gives me great pleasure to extend to you all a very warm welcome on behalf of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa management, staff, and students. The theme of our workshop and training, Integrating Ethics in Higher Education, is timely, as we reaffirm that universities play a key role in the formation and imparting of values to society. All universities in the world, and in particular the Catholic universities, have a role to play in the provision of quality education, which must not be devoid of ethics and values. For a university to grow, it needs to recognize the integral constitutive role of ethics in the formation of flourishing community. This will not be easy unless the entire university community integrates ethics in all her activities. On this note, I wish to say that the agenda of the workshop covers a very critical area for us. Ethics is that process, method, and art of thinking and doing the right thing. Ethics matters because it is in your own personal interest to live virtuously. Ethically, a person should act from duty. This means that one should do good as a duty. Kant calls this the categorical imperative. Therefore, to act ethically is to act according to the categorical imperative. This simply means doing good because it ought to be done. As staff and students in our institutions of higher learning, we should therefore strive for the categorical imperative. We as a church do believe that ethics in higher education strengthens values-driven decisions. Ethics strengthens values-driven behavior. And ethics further strengthens values-driven actions, be it on the part of teachers, students, or leaders in any part of the society. For those who have responsibility to assist and guide the young, we are talking about teachers, you are a blessed group. To be a teacher is to be a rabbi. To be a rabbi is to be a model. To be a model is to be reputable. Therefore, you may not count your greatness as a teacher in financial resources, but the wisdom you share, being a teacher places you in a position to be the strongest because all those who run institutions worldwide, whether they are bankers or businesses, whether they are priests or professors, 
whether they are politicians or parliamentarians or lawyers or family people, all these pass through institutions where teachers certify them. So you have the key to the professions of people worldwide. And the teacher, therefore, is strategic. No wonder when you look at where do you impact more in terms of changing the values of a society. You can go to the House of Parliament and make the laws, but there is someone who integrates them, who passes them on. They are normally the teachers. I'm an alumni of this university. I want to say that my experience at this university was life-changing. There's one course that I never forget, patristic education. In patristic education, I learned how my everyday life, my work, links to God, to natural laws, to human laws. And I want to say that for me, it changed my view of work and life because it linked it so directly to the purpose for which we were created. And I believe that if we can instill ethics in the persons that we release from here, who graduate from here and other institutions, then I don't think as a country, as a continent, we will continue to complain about the many ills that are affecting society now. Higher education is the catalyst for development in this country. And the vision that Kenya has to be a leading um, middle income country that is in fact involved in manufacturing, that vision rests solely on the back of higher education because universities are the theaters of dreams. This is where ideas are generated. This is where concepts are tested. This is where innovation happens. And so if we integrate ethics at this level, we will be sure that whatever we build is fit for purpose and will drive development ahead. Without ethics, this will only be frameworks that cannot be truly actualized and completely reported. Friends, this TOT conference hopefully will point us to the transformer, the word of God incarnate, the Lord Jesus Christ, and to his written word. Kenya Association of Private Universities is pleased to be associated with global ethics, and in the future, more of us will seek ways to be actively engaged. That cure here on the East Coast is taking this challenge, and I want to thank those teachers who not only for today, but for the next four days, will be part of sharing resources, skills, and content with which they become stronger in their work. A teacher is a thought leader, and the world needs leaders of thought. When you are a leader of thought, then you pass on values that live beyond you. The Vice Chancellor of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa called upon his colleague Vice Chancellors to also follow in the footsteps of Quare. I invite in a very special way my colleagues, the Vice Chancellors, to start thinking seriously about how we can partner to form a consortium of universities around the subject of ethics in this region. Reverend Dr. Peter Mbaru underscored the commitment of the Catholic University in this initiative. Queer is committed to integrate ethics in higher education. We have to look at justification for ethics in education. Why integrate ethics in education? Why does Queer, as a university, seek to commit herself in this initiative to have ethics integrated in education? A society that serves the common good of the human person is purely founded on sound ethical values in a clear value system, not very much on technical know-how and skills, though the latter are also important. Hence, a society that compromises completely the goods of the human person start by failing to uphold and transmit its values, 
that serve as the binding moral fiber. Moral fiber of the society that guarantees a just social order and peaceful coexistence in any given society is safeguarded by a moral compass that is given by ethical education or character formation. The participants expressed appreciation and commitment in this regard. Those who are accountable but support them offer excellent customer service. Demonstrate that you like your work. Align the goals to the organization values and mission. Market the university. This is a clear indication that ethics is crucial for sustainability of institutions of higher education in general and of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa in particular.